Hello, and here we are once again. I am Dr. Stacy Cooper, and thank you so much for joining me here on Dr. Stacy. I'm health and wellness expert at drstacycooper.com, founder of Lifestyle Balance Solutions, author of the Healthy Fuels Cookbook, creator of the Balanced Living Academy, and the Healthy Eating Blueprint. And I'm so thankful to be here with you today, being able to share information in regards to how to fuel your body better for better body function naturally. This is a live Q&A that I host Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we are up to about 70 viewers per episode, um, sometimes 90, sometimes 100. And I really appreciate the engagement that on these live videos, and I love for you to click the like button shoot as well and uh, when you like what you hear and also when you have questions and you want to know more about what we're sharing then be sure to add them right here in the chat box you can uh, share with others so i'm founder of lifestyle balance solutions and that you can find on my website and so that is the name of our facebook page lifestyle balance solutions so you can go to that and all of our previous episodes we're now up to episode nine Today, all of the previous episodes are found on my Lifestyle Balance Solutions Facebook page. You can also find them on YouTube as well. They're all tagged by topic. So I cover not just about how you fuel your body because you can eat well 100% of the time, but if other areas of your life are stressed, your body still won't function optimally. So we all are living for balanced living of your entire system. And that's truly the point of what, what I want to get across. So as I mentioned that all the episodes are tech. You can find what interests you and what you want to hear about. And they're all very brief to the point and easy to implement steps that you can add to your daily living right away. So as I mentioned, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Stacy, and again, there are also all of the previous episodes recorded right there, and so you can see that specifically. So I want to share with you that to up on Wednesday, December 13th, is our Empowered Women's Circle group. So I want to share that with you here. Uh, Empowered Circle is active together, sharing it, um, nutritional information, holistic wellness information, meditation, exercise, all aspects of your life, nourishing your mind, body, and spirit. Hansen is going to be leading our session on Wednesday, December 13th. We attend in person in Houston, Texas at the Conference Center. You can also attend in person at my Ontario, Canada. And you can also attend from your own living room virtually. So you can find that on, just go to um, Empowered Women's Circle Group on Facebook. The date for our live Wednesday, December 13th, that's 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time for Brantford, 30 p.m. Central in Houston, Texas. And as I said, you can also attend virtually. So just go to the Empowered Women's Circle Group. You can ask to join our closed group there, and our event is listed on Facebook right there at that group called Group is what you need to put, Empowered Women's Circle Group. We are going to be up-leveling your 2018, so walking you through the entire exercise, what it is that you want to and how to go ahead and up-level your 2018 for your best year yet. So join us on Wednesday, December 13th. I also want to share a little bit about the Balanced Living Academy. I have my next date registered January 5th and Saturday, January 6th in St. George, Ontario. And you don't have to be in St. George to attend. It is a two-day event that I host. This is going to be the eighth Balanced Living Academy that I've presented. Rave reviews. So you can see all the information on the information page. Just go to balancedlivingacademy.com, live VE, and that is for the live event in St. George on Friday, January 5th, and Saturday, January 6th in St. George. And attend, you can have access to your program through the link, thebalancedlivingacademy.com, 
forward slash join. And that is for the virtual program. As I said, this is going to be the eighth balance living that I've presented. So I've recorded the entire session and I've made it available to you with full PDF of the entire manuscript, entire program and that we'll sing all nation page right there at that URL. So you can see it there. And uh, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to contact me and uh, you can register right there. As I said, the live event will be Friday, January 5th and Saturday, January, Ontario. And that to register, just go to balancedlivingacademy.com forward slash E does need to be in capital block letters, just as you see it right there. So today, we are talking about nourishing your mind. As I said, it's not just about foods and how you fuel your body. You can think engine or a machine. And if you put diesel fuel in a gas engine, we all know that that does not work well at all. The same is true for your body, but it's not just about the foods that you eat. Because when other areas of your life are stressed, you still won't function there. So nourishing your mind is really, really important because without your mind in a positive place, everything goes downhill from there. So you've heard me give the example before that if it happens to be a gray day and raining outside, people can wake up, take a look out the window, and that is what determines the outcome of their day. The weather truly has no bearing at all in regards to what kind of day you let it have bearing on what kind of day you're going to have. So if it's rainy and gray and, and what you may consider miserable and you wake up saying, oh, what a you have already preset the day to be crappy. So nourishing your mind is truly important. And there are so many self-help books and self-awareness, personal development books, meditation. There's a whole vast amount of information out there in this information age that you can turn to. And there's lots of information. And I have articles on my website, um, through my blog, and also through Facebook. So you can connect in many different social platforms to find information. But some things that I wanted to share with you. Too. So what I'm reading right now, and unfortunately I didn't bring it with me to the office, is Don Miguel Ruiz's books, Four Agreements. It's truly a remarkable reading and sharing information. And the Four Agreements, Always holding true to your word, always doing your best, never making assumptions, and thinking personally. And when you start to come from this perspective and sharing it and it's four agreements from Don Miguel Ruiz, then it truly changes everything. And as right now, I'm reading a, of the Toltec writings that he has written in regards to um, learning the aspects of love. And he talks about when we're two and three years old, we are still playing. We play all the time at two and three years. We are experiencing all of our surroundings and everything around us and learning but it's the conforms of society that are being presented upon us that beat us down, trap us into wounds, and create wounds in our emotional being. So one example that I read just last night was, you know, a child and everything is great and just exploring and, and learning all of these things and, and just being, and mom is watching the toddler play, and mom is watching the toddler and, of course, approaching the street. And mom is now running after the toddler because she wants to ensure his safety. Meanwhile, it doesn't realize this and just is environment. Well, of course, when you get into traffic and toddlers running, that's not a good thing. And so toddler may be scolded by mother. And toddler is seeing this as coming from completely out of the blue. What the heck? I'm playing in my environment, you know, whatever the situation may be. And many, many experience that in our lifetimes. 
just as being children and being spanked and waxed of totalizing this person that is supposed to love and protect and nurture us actually um, uh, scolding us and being upset with us and being mad is completely incongruent of what is supposed to and so that's how these emotional wounds start to form and develop and can come from there. And then we carry this throughout the rest of our lifetime and our beings. And then what patterns do we take forward with our children, but that which we have. And so you can change the patterns, scars and the wounds that you do carry when you have the understanding as we can come back to this natural exploring our environment play more, and live by the four agreements of always living by your true word, say what you mean, communication is key. Live by, say it, living making a lead to lies. When you assume that someone is going to do something even when you did not convey to them clearly or you did not communicate to them what you expect them, assume them to do it, and then they don't meet your expectations, how could they meet expectations? Because you never conveyed to them what your expectations were. See how the cycle happens? Just get tossed into a cycle and then conflicts arise. Why? Because you assumed your on lies because convey to them when you stay true to your word and you never assume and you don't personally Don Miguel Ruiz is a really great resource it really helps come from a place of gratitude and thankfulness your energy within your own being, beings. Everything is energy around us and everything is energy that we exude from ourselves. And so when you start to change the place that you're coming from and how you're enters, that changes how they will interact with you because now your energy has shifted. And they, they will notice that and they will perceive it for energy. So if you want to see change in your relationship, then change begins with you in the first place in nourishing your mind. So a few other resources I would like to share with you today is a great, great book that I just shared with some of my patients as well. Um, my business mentor, Noah St. John, a great personal friend of mine, great author, Millable. The Book of Affirmations is a really fabulous tool because your brain is an auto self your difference between affirming and saying affirmations or aff affirmations affor where you press and it also provides you with many many questions from every aspect of your life that you can ask questions there be health and well-being business love um, your experiences your relationships affirming questions are already provided in this book so that changes and then you can come up with your own affirming questions as well so affirmations for overcoming bad habits affirmation reality after conquering fear affirmations on family and relationships so on love and intimacy, career, on building self-confidence, on money and abundance affirmations, on health and well-being. So these are things that you can implement. It's a very easy read available on Amazon website as well, the book of affirmations. And Louise Hay, a great dear, dear friend and fabulous author and Hay House Media, Louise Hay and Cheryl Richards, Exceptional Life. And when you start to just open your mind to what is possible, and you know, when you see around you, 
who may be creating great experiences or living at a much higher level than, than where you may, may be at this moment, understand that every one of us starts that life of fever, all starting from the, ex and it is through our experiences that change our outcomes. So if you want to change your outcome, then start to change the experience that you're having right now. We are all created the same and we can all prosper and create abundance and joy and love. You just need to take a step forward to do that. So nourishing your mind with you today. If you are stuck in the right now that that it only takes if you continue to do the same thing over and over again and yet expect different results the definition of insanity truly because if you're doing the same thing over and over again is that not true just going to generate what you have right now so I encourage you to pick up a book check out some personal development go on my website you can also check Mindset Twitter, Global, personal site. And if you need any information or any help, contact me. And we can get abundance and prosperity and joy in your heart. And life is so much more fun when we are working from that perspective. Now, another thing is, too, through the Empowered Women's Circle, we are doing anti-cancer, a new way of life. And oftentimes, it's not until people receive a diagnosis that they truly begin to start living their life. It may be at life and just going on the even keel, you're too busy to truly live your life. You're going from moment to moment, the tasks that need to be called grind of every day, day in and day out. You wake up in the morning, you do all the tasks that need kids to work. You're getting the kids to school, going to work, getting them to hockey, their tasks, back home, back to bed day. That's the movie of Groundhog Day, where it's the same thing over and over. Is that, are you in the moment of each moment that you experience. Are you savoring everything that's up at the sky and notice the sunrise or the sunset, depending on what part of day? Do you hear the birds singing and do you self? Because when we're not looking after ourselves, that's when we become depleted, frustrated, um, decreased energy levels, run ragged, hamster wheel. And now you're living a life that you don't love. It's really important to take care of yourself in regards to self-care. Every moment around you because we have this moment that is guaranteed. The next moment is never guaranteed. Years to come are never guaranteed at the age of 50 to be his outcome. We did get to, the, to dive, scuba dive, as he wanted. So... What's your bucket? Don't distrust. So that's what I wanted to share with you in your mind. Thank you so much for joining me. We're up to about 76 viewers um, per episode of Ask Dr. Stacy. So I'd love to see some more engagement. Hit the like button. Share it with your friends. Give me a wow. Give me some hearts. I'd like to see what you guys think about what I'm sharing here. You can always find more information at drstacycooper.com. I have a free video series right there available for you. Just start to implement your hidden energy drain. You can always email me directly, drstacy at drstacycooper.com, and I would love to hear from you. I wish you a fabulous day, and uh, we will see you again. We'll chat again soon. Here's to your enhanced vitality, boosting your life. With love, joy, and happiness, have a great day.